Let's now take you to Tanzania that is preparing for the general election in seven days. We have been traversing the country to give you a feel of the nation's fabric. So today we focus on Dar es Salaam, a historic city that has remained central in shaping modern day Tanzania. So just how well do you know the city of Dar es Salaam? KTN's Ben Kitili reports. This is Dar es Salaam, Arabic for the home of peace, the world's largest and most popular Swahili-speaking city. It started in the 19th century as a small coastal fishing village called Mzizima. It later grew exponentially due to its role as a commercial and administrative center for the German and later British colonialists. Today, although it is not Tanzania's capital city, it is still the country's most important city for business and government. Welcome to Dar es Salaam. With over 4.3 million people, Dar es Salaam is Eastern Africa's largest city by population and it is set to play a key role in the October 25th general election. The city of Dar es Salaam is the administrative capital of Dar es Salaam province, also known as the Coast Province. In 1974, the city lost its status as Tanzania's capital to the more centrally located city of Dodoma. Dar es Salaam, however, remains the focus of the central government bureaucracy. And with a natural harbor and port, Dar es Salaam is regarded as Tanzania's commercial capital. Dar es Salaam's central business district is made up of Kivukoni, Kisutu, Upanga and Kariako. The Magogoni fish market located in Kivukoni area of the CBD is a key part of Dar es Salaam's economy. This is where all of the city's fish is traded. With a turnover of tens of millions of Tanzania shillings every single day and hundreds of families depending on Magogoni, the fish market has been a key issue in the ongoing presidential campaigns. Other key commercial installations found in Kivukoni are the Bank of Tanzania, which is the East African nation's central bank. The Dar es Salaam Stock Exchange is also located in this part of the CBD. Kariako. This is the Dar es Salaam central shopping area with the famous Kariako market right at the center. It has various sections for different commodities with popular streets like Congo Street, famous for its clothing shops. Oro Street is known for its electronic and computer shops. Politically, the city of Dar es Salaam has been vital in shaping the history of Tanzania. From the reign of the German East Africa to the British conquest, the city was always at the center of all of then Tanganyika's administrative and commercial operations. Tanzania's struggle for independence from colonial rule also started in Dar es Salaam with the formation of the Tanganyika African National Union, TANU, and later Chama Chama Pinduzi, CCM. Mwaka msina sita mapema Mwalimu Nyerere Raisi wetu watanu Akatua kauli Kwa ambia vijana mlio soma Njooni tusaidiane kumundua mkoloni Mini kaipata Na nikaribu sana na chama wakato The Tanzanian government is in the process of constructing a rapid bus transit system in Jerusalem A first of its kind in the region it will be operated by the Dar Rapid Transit Agency, a government entity. The bus project, which is being sponsored by the World Bank, is behind schedule, as it was supposed to be opened by the end of 2014. The Kisutu area of the CBD is the city's office and commercial hub, with many multinational companies located here. It is also the location of a new feature of the Dar es Salaam skyline, the 35-story PSPF towers which when completed will become the tallest building in East Africa. The National Stadium is also located in Dar es Salaam. The stadium is home to the city's legendary rival football teams, Simba Sports Club, and Young Africans, also known as Yanga. Football derby days are a sight to behold here in Dar es Salaam. Like they say here in Tanzania, if Dar es Salaam sneezes, the whole of Tanzania catches a cold. Ben Kitili, KTN News, Dar es Salaam, Tanzania.